got that. She was just looking for the oven tray. <laughs> I'm making a musical instrument. A musical instrument out of an oven tray? Come on then, how do you do it? Right, if you put your fingers through these loops of string, that's like, it. Okay. Lean forward so the oven tray isn't against your body and put your fingers in your ears. Put my fingers in my ears? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Now with my wooden spoon, I'm going to hit it like this. <gasps> I can hear chimes, I can hear bells, I can hear monks singing, I can hear unicorns oh, skipping right. on a fluffy cloud. That's amazing! How does that work? Well, what's happening is, when I'm hitting it, the sound vibrations are travelling through the oven tray, up the string, through your finger, into your body, vibrating in your body using something called bone conduction. Bone conduction? Well, I never. Well, uh, if one wanted to make uh, one's own version of this, how would you do it? All right, Becky, I'll show you. All you need is an oven tray. Now, we have spray painted ours red, but of course, before you do this, do ask your parent or guardian, because if they intend to use it back in the oven, paint and ovens don't work. <laughs> <laughs> so, one oven tray, then all you need is a pair of scissors and some string. Teddy's looking after us, for <laughs> us nicely. <laughs> if you hold that end of the string, we'll pull it out here, and I'm gonna cut a length which is about, I'd say about 60 centimetres long, like that. And then another one which is a similar length. There we go, give that back to Teddy. And with each piece of string, we're gonna tie it round the corner of the oven tray, just like that, using a very simple knot. There's one, and then the other one on the other corner, just like this. And that creates our two loops, which your partner is going to put their fingers through. So, Becky, if you'd like to try it again, put your fingers through there. Amazing. In your ears. And then I'm going to play it with our wooden spoon that we've made using the Rig logo, but you can, of course, decorate it how you like, with coloured pens or stickers. And I'm going to hit it like this. So you can hear the bells. That's so amazing. But the children at home can't hear the bells. It's I such a know. shame. It's just such a shame. All you're going to have to do is either make it at home or you can also go to the launch pad, which is an area of the Science Museum in London. And that area is aimed at 7 to 12 year olds and contains experiments like this. And they've also got a sound experiment, very similar, which uses your teeth biting down on a piece of copper. <laughs> and it uses bone conduction so you can hear the music. Like this. <laughs> I've got lots of silly pictures of me and Amy doing just that. <laughs>